Well, hello my friend and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to do some stamping. I've been wearing this manicure for a couple of days and decided before I take it off, I would go ahead and stamp over it and enjoy it for a little bit longer. I have started this one off with Moonshine Manis, Demi Goddess. It's just beautiful. I have really, really enjoyed this one. Gorgeous polish. But before I put that on, I have, of course, put a you know, base on, and I'm using the Unt. And I know you all know that I am a big, huge fan of Danny Digit's Glitter Appeal, but my bottle's getting super low, and since I already have this, I decided to go ahead and use it. So I've got my base coat, my base color. Today I'm going to be stamping with this American Freedom Plate from Westonia. And I'm just going to use some of these different images down here. This is a plate that I got from my friend Connie. I will be stamping with this Insta Dry Crayola White, number 509. It's just a regular nail polish, and we're going to give it a run for its money today. And then I'm also going to be using this stamper from Born Pretty if I can get it to cooperate with me. We may have to change, but it's from Born Pretty. I won this in a giveaway, and I decided let's give it a road test. So that's what we're going to do. Let's get started. I'm going to turn this plate around so it works for me. And I'm going to do this one first. I guess I would need a scraper too, huh? That would be good. Oh, it picked up beautiful. Look at that. So I'm going to plop this one on my thumb. Gorgeous. Even with me wasting time and chatting. Alrighty. And I think I'm going to do this one. Oh, these are stamping perfectly. So if you're in the market for a great white stamping polish that's not a stamping polish, you might want to give this one a shot. Because this is working out beautifully. Look how perfect. I mean, it's just so pigmented. It's working great. I love it. I have white stamping polishes that don't work this great. And next, I'm going to use this image right here. Well, no. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to use that one. We're just going to go on down the line. Beautiful. I'm going to put this one over here. the little bitty stars. Then we're going to turn this plate around and we're going to give it, give this one right here a shot. I wanted to try some of these different images and I figured since they're all kind of the same that that would work great. Oh, love that image. Beautiful. Alrighty. And then last but not least, I'm going to use this little one right there. And that'll be from my pinky. Oh, how cute. Cute, cute, cute. Alrighty, so there we go. Alright, I'm going to get some cleaning up done. I'll be right Alrighty, this is coming up awesome with the little tape method, using the tape instead of clean up brush and acetone. Look at that. I mean, it's just coming up. All of it did. It's just, oh, love it. So there we go. Get that last little spot. I'm not even going to break out the clean up brush this time. We're just going to go ahead and head on into the top coat. Today I'll be using Posh as my top coat. Let's see if I can zoom you in a little bit. So that we can get this one finished. There we go. I got a little bloppy with that. It's a good big nail though, so we should be able to get that to work. Ring finger. Oh, I 
had a lot of fun playing with that plate. I loved all of the little star images. Alrighty. See how messy I get stamping? <laughs> so, here we go. Wait a minute, I got, got a little issue over here. I got a little blobby over here. Let's see if we can unblobbify this corner. Very nice, very done, very finished. So, that is my manicure. I hope you enjoyed this one. Leave me a comment down below. Let me know what you think. And that is all I have for you today. Until next time, be good to yourself. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.